Suppose we toss a coin six times. What is the probability of getting three heads, one head, or at least two heads? Tossing a coin six times is a series of equal independent tests. In each toss we can get either head or tail, and the result is not influenced by other tosses. Such series of tests is known as Bernoulli trials. The probability formula in this case looks like this. The probability of k successes out of n trials equals the binomial coefficient n choose k times p raised to the power k times 1 minus p raised to the power n minus k. In this formula, n stands for the number of trials, k is the number of successes. By success in this example, we mean getting head in one toss of the coin. Then failure is getting tail in one toss of the coin, and n minus k is the number of failures. p is the probability of success in one trial, and 1 minus p is the probability of failure in one trial. Also, let's recall that binomial coefficient n choose k is equal to n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. We know that when we toss a coin, we can get either head or tail, and the probability of getting head, p, is equal to 0 0.5. Then the probability of getting tail is 1 minus p, and also equals 0 0.5 n is equal to 6 because we have 6 tosses of the coin. Now let's consider case A of the example. Here we need to find the probability of getting free heads in 6 tosses of the coin. We know that success is getting head in 1 toss of the coin. Then free heads is free successes and k is equal to 3. Now using this formula we can calculate the probability of free successes out of 6 trials and it is equal to 6 choose 3 times 0 0.5 to the third power times 0 0.5 to the third power which gives us 6 factorial over 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 0 0.5 raised to the sixth power this is equal to 4 times 5 times 6 over 2 times 3 times 2 raised to the sixth power and equals 5 sixteenths so this is the probability of getting free heads in six tosses of the coin. Let's write this answer up here. The probability of free successes out of six trials is 5 sixteenths. Now let's move on to case B of the example. We need to find the probability of getting one head. Success is getting head in single toss of the coin, then one head is one success and k is equal to one. Once again, we use this formula to calculate the probability of one success. It is equal to 6 choose 1 times 0 0.5 raised to the first power times 0 0.5 raised to the fifth power, which is equal to 6 factorial over 1 factorial times 5 factorial times 0 0.5 raised to the sixth power, and this gives us 6 over 2 raised to the 6th power and equals 3 over 32. This is the probability of getting one head in 6 tosses of the coin. Let's also write this answer up here. Probability of one success out of 6 trials is equal to 3 over 32. Now let's clear the board and proceed to case C. In case C, we need to find the probability of getting at least two heads out of six tosses of the coin. Let's say that A is the event of interest and A is getting at least two heads. The main difficulty here is the phrase at least two, which means that event A will occur if we get two, three, four, five or six heads. In this case, the probability of event A is equal to the sum of probabilities of these outcomes. So the probability of A is equal to probability of two successes out of six trials plus the probability of three, four, five, 
and six successes out of six trials. Let's imagine all possible outcomes of six tosses of the coin as a circle. Event A will occur for several outcomes. And they are getting two, three, four, five, or six heads. The variants left are getting zero or one head. This means that if we get zero or one head, then event A will not occur. Therefore, this is the complementary event to event A. Getting zero or one head. We also know that the probability of event A can be calculated as 1 minus the probability of complementary event. In our case, this is 1 minus probability of 0 successes out of 6 trials, minus the probability of 1 success out of 6 trials. Now, let's have a look at these two formulas. In the first one, we already know the probability of 3 successes out of 6 trials from case A and the other add-ins are yet to be calculated. In the second formula, we already know the probability of one success out of six trials from case B. And the only thing left is to calculate the probability of zero successes. So the second formula is easier and I will use it. Now let's find the probability of zero successes. Once again, we use this formula and the probability of zero successes is equal to six choose zero times 0 0.5 raised to the 0 power times 0 0.5 raised to the 6 power which gives us 6 factorial over 0 factorial times 6 factorial times 0 0.5 raised to the 6 power and this is equal to 1 over 64 now as we know the probability of 0 successes and the probability of one success, we can insert them into this formula and calculate the probability of event A. Let's do this. The probability of event A is equal to 1 minus 1 over 64 minus 3 over 32. And this gives us 57 over 64. So the probability of getting at least two heads in six tosses of the coin is 57 over 64.